So you've just finished that brand new song that you've been working really hard on and now it's time to share it with the rest of the world. But there's one more thing that you want to do and that is to add in some cool album artwork. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a free service called Canva right here on your iPhone or your iPad to create some cool and unique album artwork. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And when you are releasing music, you don't want some boring playing graphic or some generic picture. You want to create your own album artwork with some pictures, some graphics, some text that really explains what the song's all about. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the Canva app here on the iPhone or the iPad to do exactly that. And no design skills are necessary because I certainly don't have any. Let's jump into the phone now and take a look. Here we are in the iPhone, and yes, this is going to be a portrait mode video. I'm sorry, but it's just the way Apple rolls. We're going to tap on the App Store here, first of all, and what we're going to do is we're going to search for Canva, C-A-N-V-A, -A, and hit the search button, and the first non-paid-for ad version is going to be Canva Graphic Design. So you need to download this if you don't have it already. I've already downloaded it. I'm going to tap on Open. Now, I actually have the paid version of this, which is about $10 a month, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new account that's a free account version just so that I can show you that you can do all of this in just a free account so let me punch in some details here I'll create a free account and then we'll jump into Canva and I'll show you how we can really quickly create some album artwork so all Canva has asked me for is my email address and a password and I'm good to go. So you can see here that Canva is great for not just cover art, but you can do all sorts of logos, social media posts, a bunch of different options here, but we are interested in some cover art. So we're going to tap in the search box up here. You can see I've already tried this. If you just type in album, you'll get CD slash album cover. We're going to tap on that. And then here we go. We've got a heap of templates for album covers that we can use. And the ones you can use with a free account have this little free logo in the bottom right corner. So if we scroll down, you can see some of these aren't free, but there's still quite a few here that you can actually choose to use if you're just using the free account. There's a bunch there you can play with and use. Let's just pick a simple one for now and tap on that. We'll go with this, the hills one, and it will load this up. And now what we can do is we can actually start editing this to add in our own text and our own graphics. So let's do that now. First of all, we don't want the hills. The song that I've done here is called Heart. So we're gonna tap, we're gonna tap that again that's going to highlight it and we can just type over this so h-e-a-r-t and tap out of there and there you go that's actually done i also want the size of that to be a bit bigger so i'm going to tap down the bottom here you'll see we've got a text editing window and this is just like your microsoft word or any other sort of text editor you can change fonts colors all of your different bold and italics and your size so we're going to tap on the 115 here i'm going to grab this slider and let's make this around about that big and now what we want to do is we want to shift it up a little bit. So I'm just going to tap and hold and drag it. And what Canva does, you can see it's got those handy little red lines. That tells us where our center points are. So we can actually line it up. And if we don't know where the center is, we just sort of move it around until we see that. And then we can release and it's going to center our text. Super handy, super useful if like me, you don't have a great eye for this sort of design stuff. So we'll tap out of there. Now I want this, the new sounds. I want that to be my name. So I'm going to tap that, tap it again. I'm going to type Pete. John's like so and hit done but again not big enough so I'm going to tap down here in the the number 28 and we're going to drag that up I want it about yeah about that size but now we want to move this up so let's just tap on that and then we'll tap and hold and drag that up we'll use our little red lines again to center it we'll bring it just up under there like so release tap out and we're good uh, I don't really like this little line here so I'm going to get rid of it. And that's a good thing. You can get rid of any of these little additional bits. So we'll tap on that. We'll hit the trash can. That's gone. And it is not a bonus collection set. So we can tap that and we can trash that as well. Okay, so that's looking all right. But this image does not really fit what I wanted on this album artwork. So we can change it. We can tap on the image. And you'll notice down the bottom here, you can either use your camera roll if you've got your own photo. Or you can use one of Canva's images. Or you can just use colors. And we have some filters there once we've got our image in there we can manipulate those let's use canvas images and because this uh, song is called heart let's search 
for a heart image. We'll type heart, we'll hit search, and let's see what we've got here. So again, you can see here some of these are free images and some will actually cost you a dollar to use. So let's find one that's free that's going to be interesting for us to use here. What about this one here? Well, that's interesting. Um, I, the, we'll have to change that white, but this is that's a pretty cool little graphic. Now, what we can do is we can actually move that around. If we double tap on the graphic, we can then drag it in. So if we wanted to make it bigger or smaller or reposition it, we could do that. Um, that was not bad, but I'm not loving it. So I'm going to go cancel on that. Um, yeah, we could actually change this. We could move this text around and make it black and that would probably be okay. But let's look for a different one now. We'll go back to images and we'll search heart again. Hit search. And what about, it might be a bit schmaltzy, but what about this little uh, this little sunset? Yeah, that looks kind of cool actually. Um, we'll need to move this text, which we can do, but that's not bad. We'll double tap on the image and just sort of adjust it down. Yeah, it can sit sort of like that. Hit done. And then let's just tap once on the word heart and then we can tap the edge here and drag it up and put it about there. And then we'll tap on the Pete Johns here. We'll tap and drag it carefully. Nope, didn't work. There we go. And put it up underneath like so. And what we might do, actually I didn't get that in the middle, did I? Yeah, let's use our middle lines. There we go. Um, let's work on some of these colors. So we can change the color of these. Let's tap, let's tap that again. And let's tap on red here and let's change this one, oh, the white one here, let's change it to red. Let's go with, since it's called heart, uh, there we go. Now I'm not loving this font, it's not uh, sort of bold enough, so we'll tap on that, let's make that the same font like, font like that. And what about this, is this right as white or should we try like a different color? What if this is, what if this was black instead? Like so. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like that. Um, we probably need to play around a little bit more with this if we want to, in fact, I'll just bring it up a tiny bit more in the center, bring my name up just so it's above that graphic. And again, it's just about touching and moving these things around. But you can see how quickly and easily we can get something that doesn't look half bad. So there you go, in the space of five minutes, I've grabbed an image, a free image here from Canva. Uh, I've got, I've put in my text, I've sorted out my uh, my interface here and it's looking okay. So I'm gonna go with this for now. Uh, this wasn't gonna be a in-depth graphic design tutorial, it was just how to get started and do this quickly. So we'll tap the little left button at the top left here. And there it is, there is my brand new image that I can now use. Now, all I need to do to save this to my camera roll or to my files app is tap on these three little dots in the top right, like so, and we're going to tap share, and we're going to share it as an image PNG file, this top one here, and it will do its uh, encoding, it'll turn it into a an actual picture file from Canva here, It'll download that design for us and then it'll ask us where we would like to save it, which it is doing right now. So we can save it to our files over there on the left. What I like to do is just tap save image and then it will save that to our camera roll. And we are done and it's asked us if we like Canva. Well, I do, but I'll give you some feedback later, Canva. So that is it. We now have that saved on our iPhone and we can use this album artwork when we're uploading to any other source that we want. If we're releasing this song, if we're uploading to SoundCloud or any other service, we can use this as our album artwork. And there you go, in just a few minutes you can use Canva, this free service, to create yourself some unique album artwork. And you can spend anything from those couple of minutes up to an hour if you want to, really refining and honing it down if you want to get the look that you're looking for. But you can do it all for free, and you can do it all right here on your iPhone or your iPad, or you can log into Canva.com on your PC or your Mac, and you can go and do even more there. Thanks for watching. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, or you've got a release coming out that you want to share with me, let us know down in the comments there and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've got two more videos linked right down below all about how to share your music that you're releasing. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon over in the top right corner or you can head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.